All right, y'all. Um, today I'm going to be doing a raccoon skinning video for you. Um, I've had a lot of questions about doing one, so decided I'm going to do one. But um, just a disclaimer, you know, I am going to be skinning an animal. So if you got a weak stomach or whatever, just don't watch the rest. But anyways, guys, I'll get the camera set up here and we'll get right to it. Uh, we've been skinning for a little bit here. So I'll actually start off just by showing you guys my uh, system. So what I do is I wheel coon in in this cart uh shopping cart of course you guys that have followed me over the summer know i swear by these shopping carts um i'll bring them in in a shopping cart then they get thrown on my table that's where i start them and then once they're done getting skinned they go into that shopping cart so anyways guys i'll get the camera set up here and uh we'll get started all right y'all so as i showed you um i open all my coon on this table here uh, what i do i just take my knife probably gonna get a lot of hate for this but i just got a cheap $20 Walmart knife. I don't even think there's a name to it, but it's got a good edge on it and it holds a good edge. I can skin six or eight coon before I got to sharpen it again. So that's what I use. But I always start, I always start on this ankle for some reason. I just always do. But that's how I do it. And I'm going to open up this ankle by just very carefully cutting around. Careful not to clip that Achilles tendon there. And there we go. Our, coon, our ankle's all freed up on this ankle here so now we're going to get our coon hung up here and uh we'll go from there i'll get the camera adjusted and we'll go from there guys all righty so you guys can see my skinning gambrel hanging right here um i use just a speed gambrel uh you got to be careful with these these suckers are pretty sharp on the end here but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this coon the ankle that i cut around and we're gonna hang it up there right right between his achilles and his leg bone there and we're gonna take this brush I do this on every coon. My brush is kind of in shambles right now, but I always like to brush them out. Uh, this guy here is pretty stiff. I'm skinning some stuff I had frozen on the carcass. So I'll go ahead and just brush him out. This coon is pretty good. And then just kind of get them spread out like this. What we're gonna do, just make sure I'm still in the frame here. Yep, we're good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing to this ankle here. I'm just gonna cut it open, careful around that Achilles there. Come around, not do that, and there we go. We got this one all freed up right there. So, and then what we're gonna do is the famous money cut, if you will. Um, we're gonna cut from heel to heel. This one here's a bore, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right along. I go beneath the testicles, but not down to the pecker hole either. I want a relatively straight cut from ankle to ankle. So what we're gonna do is take our knife, get it in here, we're gonna cut up to that other ankle, just like that. You guys can see that cut mark there. A nice clean cut. It's gonna make for a nice, nice coon for us here once we get to fleshing it and putting it on a board. So now, you're gonna get back to the vent. Um, so basically what you got going on here is you got your vent, you got your testicles, and then you're down to our cut. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to this vent, insert our knife right there, cut around that vent, and around the testicles and cut to that other cut. I'm gonna do that on both sides here. And there we go. And I always like to take my knife after I've made those cuts and just open up this tail just a little bit more. You guys can see that. Uh, that way I don't have to cut it anymore once I get these flanks pulled down. But one of the biggest secrets I can tell you guys about skinning, and I just learned this myself. Um, I'm sorry if I don't give credit where credit's due, but no one ever told me about this um, and it's my new secret weapon and that is a pair of vice grips um, i love skin and coon of vice grips it works great and i'll show you exactly why so my hands when i'm trapping really hard my hands are shot i mean there's no strength left i mean yeah i can come home i can still pull coon by hand or whatever but with this pair of vice grips i can pull the flanks of this coon without using any hand strength at all and i'll show you guys exactly what i mean by that so you're gonna come on the inside of this flank here, clamp that vice grip on, and you're gonna pull down. Just pull it down until you get to right about here where this area starts coming free. And then you're gonna take your vice grips, readjust them up, do the same thing and pull down, and that side's all freed up. Do the same thing on the other side, come on the inside of the flank, we're gonna pull down, adjust our vice grips. We're gonna go up, pull down, there you go guys literally no grip strength at all required 
Um, would definitely recommend that. I've skinned quite a few coon doing that now. But so now what we're gonna do is I got this piece of um, just scrap rod is what it is. But if you guys can see, mine's got almost like a ribbing texture to it. And I prefer that over a smooth rod just for the slipperiness factor. Um, smooth rod is gonna be a lot slipperier than this. Uh, you're gonna get 30 different answers from 20 different trappers as far as what to use on everything. But this is what I like to use. And you're gonna go and you, you can feel it with your fingers um, where the base of that tail is. And you're just gonna run your rod down through there. Then you're gonna pull that down, free up that tail, all right? And sometimes guys, I mean, if you want, you can make some cuts around here. Um, I'm actually probably going to on this one just because it has quite a, quite a bit of fat on it. But our tail right there is ready to get pulled. And what I use to pull, tail puller, get them cheap to like five bucks, I think, or whatever. Or you can make one, they're pretty easy to make. And you're just gonna take that, I'm gonna put it on the biggest notch, right where I cut that layer of fat. I'm just gonna pull his tail. And there's his tail. I don't have a tail zipper, guys. I just use a knife. Uh, we're just gonna cut through right there. And you're gonna wanna come over to the belly. You're gonna wanna pull that down. And there we go, guys, he's freed up. Um, I do have a good um, balcom bone market, so I'm gonna go ahead and harvest that off of this coon. Um, would highly recommend you guys doing that as well. Um, there's more demand for those than there is the pelt anymore. So definitely invest in those. But anyways, I'm gonna get the camera set up here so I can show you how I'm clamping this coon into my A&J skinning machine. All right, y'all, so we got our coon hanging here. Um, this is my A&J skinning machine. It's a floor mount. It's just got two vice grips on there. Um, A&J makes great stuff and highly recommend. Um, and this coon's actually hanging from, it. Uh, I believe it's a two ton winch. So we're gonna go ahead and lower our coon down here. And then we're gonna go ahead and pop these flanks into this vice grip like so. Um, you don't want them too tight, but you don't want them too loose either. So it's kind of a thing you gotta just get the feeling for, but go ahead and readjust the camera a little bit here. And we're gonna pull this coon. Pull them up. All right, now once you get to these, these are the arms right here. So a lot of guys are just pulling by hand, but some of the really big coon is kind of tough. So I just always use this uh, bar here. Uh, just run it through the lake like that. Uh, there's kind of an indentation in there. You can run it from the outside too. Doesn't matter. Pull it like that. Take your knife. Um, I don't, there's no real precision to it, guys. I mean, you're going to clean these up when you're fleshing them anyways. But as far as I go, I go, I don't know, two inches off the pelt maybe when I cut them legs. Basically right where you can feel that foot in there is what I do. And now we're going to, I'm going to give them another little tug here. And now we're going to do the face. So I'm going to get you guys resituated to focus in on the face here and we'll get to skinning them again. All righty. So now we're down. Um, you can see right here, we're starting to get to the head here. Um, what I always do, I grab this, I grab the pelt, and I'm always going to make a cut along here just to free that face up. And just kind of work it a little bit. Um, this is going to take some practice for you guys. But finding the ears is probably the single, single most difficult thing for a beginner to learn. So I'm just gonna make sure if I pull this, okay, get my camera over here. So I'm gonna go ahead, just make some cuts. Um, I'll show you guys some real time skinning too here in a second, but right here, that's cartilage, that is the ear. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut right in right there. That's our ear freed up. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, just like so. Readjust my camera. And once you get them ears freed up, I just pull them down and now we're to the eyes basically. And what I do is I always cut my ear holes big enough to where I can get my fingers, my index finger and my thumb in these ear holes. And what that does is it allows me to provide direct pressure to these eyes right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of free up these eyes. There's an eye right there. I'll go ahead and just cut up in there free that up from the skull and what I did while doing that is I opened up this jaw I'll go ahead and open it up a little more uh, just so you guys can see there come over to this other eye we're going to do the same thing up against the skull 
just like that and there's two perfect eyes right there guys so once you free up them eyes just make sure that mouth is open you're gonna just pull this down make a little cut here some of these big coons make it kind of difficult on you i'll just free that up and you can see that bottom lip just snapped right off of there we're gonna cut that nose and that's our finished coon well not finished but that's our skin coon guys um as you can see i'm sitting in a roller chair um i might be young but i like sitting in my chair when i'm skidding out the face so there's our coon guys um we're just gonna go ahead and take him over and he's gonna get thrown in the cart with the rest and it's time to grab another one so i'll get the camera situated and show you guys some real time skinning here and uh, i'll be right back all right so we got our coon hanging here um i'm just gonna go ahead and brush him out real quick um you guys saw my brush really does no good at this point hopefully hopefully santa claus will bring me one here come christmas but um i'm just gonna show you guys some real time me skinning um, boy i gotta feel under the pressure now but it's really once you do enough of them and you get it down to just how you like it um that's when it that's when it gets fun i mean i can really zip through these suckers if i'm trying to go fast so spin around the vent cut that tail down take the clamp pull that pelt down some of them guys you don't need to readjust your clamps you can kind of just grab it on the pull it all just depends you know so many things in the trapping world that just depend on certain situations Go ahead and get this tail off. Split that tail around, belly pulled down. Go ahead and lower down this pin here. Get him in my clamps. We'll pull him. Just like so. To the arms. Pull those out. Cut, cut, a little bit of a pull again. I get down on my chair here, make a cut, a couple cuts, open up that ear, open up that ear, pull it down to the eyes, fingers in the ears, cut that eye open. Ooh, that was kind of a big eye there, but that's all right. Told you, I'm feeling the pressure. There we go, guys, it's that simple. It really doesn't take much. Uh, once you get a system down, you really have it figured out so nice coon there too take them all like that i wish but anyways guys uh that's gonna be a wrap for this video uh hope you enjoyed it you know i've gotten pretty decent at skinning coon uh it's all about just finding something that works for you you know i got my method that works for me and i pulled bits and pieces from other people that helped me speed up too so that's that's how i do it guys i skin a lot of them that way so anyways y'all uh thanks for watching hope you learned something from this even if you're a very good raccoon skinner already maybe maybe i could have taught you something with a little vice grip thing or something i don't know but anyways hope y'all got something from this and until next time